I'm Dave. I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to the episode of DJ Projects, episode 56. So this week at DJ Projects, there'll be plenty of fencing going on, some interesting ones. Me and Jordan's on the landscaping job, hoping to get it complete, and we've got a little drop crossing at the end of the week. And I hope you enjoy this episode. Good morning. It is Monday morning, and what a wonderful day it is. Look at the sun shining. Who is that in the background? It's Anne. Yes, that's our star employee of the week. He's had a week off from his army chores or army job. Is it chores or job? Don't know. Leave a comment down below. And he's come to help with the boys at DJ Projects. Family stick together, right? If you've watched that video. But yeah, what we're doing? Getting these 10 foot posts and putting them down there and stacking them up. This is a subscriber as well. And then we're gonna wait for Steve, uh, unload Stevie's van, and then we're gonna to go to over to the landscaping job. So we'll see you on that one. So we're back on this job, the landscaping job. The boys are just getting unloaded now. We set the ramp back up, update on the grab. The grab is in for its PMI. It's got a little tiny crack on the crane. So the welder is gonna sort that out. It was an injector. There's like a pump thing on top of the injector, the mechanic said. So that was sorted straight away. I got the grab back, did a couple of grabs, and then it went off for its PMI. PMI is inspection. We have that every, I think it's every six weeks we have ours. So yeah, the inspection on it every six weeks, it's like a mini MOT to go through it, check every little thing, make sure it's roadworthy and safe. You do need that in the UK. So what are we doing today? Digger's ready. Important, get that out today. Carry on stoning that up. Dig that out over there. We brought the laser level. What I want to do, check the height on that brickwork there to the height on the house. So that's what you'll see first. We'll do that, start digging out. Ant's gonna take the spoil back to the yard, bring some roadstone back. Stevie is gonna join us later and he's gonna do exactly the same. So yeah, we're gonna be busy. I wanna be laying slabs on this job tomorrow because I need to push it forward. Let's get a time lapse on and you can see it's all work. Laser level set up. What we've found out is that brickwork lines up with that. It's happy days. This will be perfectly level with slight, well, say perfect level, have a slight fall on it. We'll fall it slightly this way so water runs into the grass. So what's Jordan doing now? He's just setting a level for me and then I've got something to work to. So we'll set that level with the laser level. That, all that does, you put the staff in. This spins around, puts a laser out picks the receiver up and tells him if he has to go higher or lower. Let me just quickly show you that. So it tells you, there you go, that's level. I need to dig at that height all the way across. And that's how we know. And we're gonna do it all the way out. So let's stick you on that time-lapse and start digging. Was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? All of the noise turned into choirs of harmony Left me with the pieces of forever that you broke But since you left me alone I've been high So some progress has been made. Getting it out very nicely. And uh, he's gonna head back to the yard, get that tipped off. He's gonna bring some roadstone back. I've just had confirmation that Stevie is on his way with the other van. So we'll get the rest of that on his van. And then Stevie will bring some stone back. We'll get this all stoned up today and prepped up. I don't think we'll get any slabs done. I'd like to, but we'll see. But yeah, that's me and Jordan. Get that bit out there before Stevie gets here. So we've 
we've got that corner out there. Piled it there. We're just waiting for Stevie now. What we're gonna do, we've filled three barrows up. We're gonna put them on the front. As soon as Stevie gets here, he should be here within two, three minutes. We'll set the ramp up and then start loading Stevie up. Stevie's here now, that's the first one. What about timing? So Ant will be on his way back to the yard tip that mark. And we're gonna fill this up now. Yeah. So this is the progress so far. First one. It's still the same one. I bet if you check their cups, they're empty. Mine isn't. I bet it's cold. I bet it's cold because that was ages ago. Look at the uh, look at the colouring on there. You can see the milk going all dodgy. <laughs> the van's nice and full. What we're gonna do, while Stevie's gone and waiting for Ann, we're gonna polish this up round the sides, get it to the right depth and we're going to swap buckets and we're going to dig that trench down there and then all the digging out has been done it's just stoning and it's bringing a ton of stone back so we'll start by stoning that as soon as he gets back stevie's going to bring a ton of stone back so he's off now you'll see him later but yeah it's taking shape i can't believe that is exactly the same height as that that's really really good that's worked in our favor so what we'll do then swap the bucket on a digger fuel it up and we'll start taking this trench out we'll probably pull it to here and when ant gets back we'll stone that section out so it makes it easier for the lads to run over yeah progress is being made what do you reckon jord looking good, looking good. Yeah. is it okay if i'm the same i'm catching feelings from all the dealings am i astray what do you say how are you feeling is it the same? I hope you're not planning to waste my time. Barrows are full. We've taken that out across there. 
and the customer's just made us some sausage cobs. Debate, brown sauce, red sauce. We've had this debate before. I'm brown sauce. I'm brown sauce. Got to be brown sauce. Stevie's red sauce. I know 100% Stevie's red sauce, but I'm brown sauce. So yeah, leave a comment down below what you are. We've had that sandwich. Now we're cracking on again. Ants back. So we're just stoning this section up. We put a bit more stone what we normally put because this is quite spongy. So probably be about six to eight inch by the time we're done. So the patio don't move. It's been a while and such a ride of stars align. I love the fact I didn't let her go. She loves the fact that I just let her know. Now we're together, it's a different mode. We getting crazy in a different world. I love the fact I didn't let her go. She loves the fact that I just let her know. Now we're together, it's a different mode. So we've dug it all out now. The remainder were piled up there. What Stevie's done, Stevie's dropped it on the road so Steve can shoot straight off. I'm gonna bring the digger through here, onto the front and fill the barrels up. And that's why you have a micro mini digger. So we don't mind using the shovel. And Jordan has used this shovel quite a bit. He's soldering through and he's smashing it with this shovel. But if you do have the tools, because you know me and you know my dad and you know DNJ projects in general, if there is a tool out there to make your life easier, my dad is not shy of buying it. He will buy that tool if it makes the job faster and easier. Grab. <laughs> yeah. We do miss the grab. We're missing Big Red, but we've got Dangerous the Digger to help out where necessary. So let's get some stone in. She my do or die, my bona fide, my up when I'm down, she's always beside me, she makes me feel alive, I won't deny, her love for me is real and kind of suicide she's not the same, she's such a rare type, she's far from plain, at least in my eyes, she said if I cross her I'll be in the grave, or you under a type, but yeah that's still my bed. So you just see Jordan through there and the barrow in the stone fruit. Just got this section to do. Guys, slow without a grab. What we'll do, we'll time lapse this last bit. Now we're together, it's a different world. We're getting crazy in a different world. We're getting crazy in a different world. She loves the fact that I just let her know. We're getting crazy, we're getting crazy in a different world. We're getting crazy in a different world. 
been a good day at d &J. We have got, and I will spin you around, all that done and whacked in. You just watch Jordan whack up. <laughs> you just watch Jordan whack the stone. <laughs> Steven and tidied the front up and we get a good blow down and that. But yeah, just show you all ready for slabs and turf. Really, really happy with where the heights are finished. Really, really happy. So it'll be a nice flat patio. See you in the morning, guys. So we're back on the landscaping job. The grab is fixed. It's had a little bit of welding done. The PMI is done on it. So it's all good for six weeks. Let me just show you what the lad's been up to, why I've been picking a grab up. Brought all the slabs around, put them in piles of sizes. So what we're gonna do, we've got all three packs around here. And with batch numbers on packs, what we'll do, we'll use it randomly from every single pack. That way, the colour variation, if you have got colour variation in a pack, you won't see it. But yeah, they've done a fantastic job. Jordan's just through there, starting to mix. Like I say, and then he's going to lift the digger back on. We're going to get rid of the digger, the ramp, and anything we don't need. The whack will probably go, we might keep it. The pecker will go. Once I start laying, it's going to make it difficult to jump over. So let's get some laid. So we've got four slabs laid. I'm working to the brick line all the way across. And just working slightly off level, only very, very slightly falling this way. But we'll put a few more down and we'll catch back up. Today, haven't really filmed much, just been cracking on. I bet you've seen Stevie's clip, so. Let's just have a look and see what progress we've made. There we have it. I've just wet them and cleaned them off. But yeah. This is the progress. It's going to look good. It's going to look really, really good. So tomorrow we'll crack on and get that bit done. And then we'll we'll carry on with this. Thursday, we'll do the other side of that where we can walk on them slabs. But yeah, it's going to be a tricky one because we still need to be able to get in to get to here. But I had to start here because I wasn't needed to square off the house. But yeah, with that said, it's another day. We'll see you in the morning, guys. So good morning, guys. It's Tuesday, and you've just saw what my dad, Jordan, and Ant have been doing on the landscaping job all day. So you've seen two days of the landscaping. Yesterday, all I was pretty much doing is back and forth, back and forth, wheelbarrow and tipping, back and forth, back and forth. Ant was doing the same. He did deliveries in the morning with my dad and Jordan as well. And obviously, you saw what my dad and Jordan had done yesterday with the digging out. Not sure what they've done today because it is early in the morning and they've only just got there, but you guys have already saw it. Before we crack on full on, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone that has donated to the GoFundMe page. I believe we are over £300. I set a target of a £1,000. I believe we're over 300 probably near a 400 Some of the comments on the donations, guys, have said, sorry, I can't give more. Honestly, when I say this, and I mean it honestly and genuinely, it does not matter if you donated a pound, 10p, 50p, anything. The fact that people are donating means the world to me, to my dad, to DJ, to Joshua, to his mum and his dad. 
genuinely guys thank you for everything that you're doing you're putting happy tears on everyone's faces we do do appreciate it the link will still be in the description so if you do want to donate thank you so much for that guys but yeah let's get cracked on with our day and it's fencing time who likes cats i love cats yeah so then we've got nine bays of fencing today we're gonna get it all done as well aren't we Ant? Definitely gonna get nine bays of fencing. You've got the fencing pro there, you've got this fencing pro here. Nine bays, easy. One of the biggest challenges for us today is the walk. So, van is parked here. We're not parking on the drive. And the job is all the way up there. So what we'll do, we'll do the walk with you now. So this is it, look. Imagine carrying those posts and gravel boards all the way up here the access is fine <laughs> yeah the access is fine look at these bad boys as well i absolutely love that hide away from that t-rex but yeah it's quite a long one so we'll probably follow this crazy paving up these two steps here, I'll wind all the way around. And then we get to the fencing area. This is where we're fencing guys. Look at that monster of a stump. No movement there. Good job it's staying. <laughs> Definitely staying. Right. So what we're doing, it's gonna be a fence here. In front of everything you can see. So this hedge, none of it is coming out. Fence is gonna go as close as it possibly can. So somewhere here, here, turning all the way down. So just in front, it's gonna be in front of all of this as well. So as you can see, that one sticks out a little bit further than the rest. So that will determine our line. So if you put a bay here, the fence will have to run next to it. So there'll be a little void here. As you can see, this customer has been packing this bit out. So no one can throw rubbish in there. So they'll, they'll probably have to do that bit here as well. Say a post lands somewhere around about here. We're returning down. We are praying that a bay falls past that. So if a post is here, great. If a post is there, great, that's fine. If a post falls there, I'm not going to be happy with that. I'll we'll probably customise it because we can't dig a post there. We can dig one there or there because it was always agreed that this was going to stay. And we're working our way down to that timber post just there. So it's going to be a little tight here. This is all staying as well. See all this? This is all staying. So we're going in front of all of this. Probably going to get some roots from these big boys, aren't we? And we're just going down to that timber post there. I believe some of this will have to come out of the way. But uh, we'll get cracked on. We'll start figuring out our plan and we'll catch back up.
feet. So what we do guys, we grab the tape and we measure the hole to make sure that it's the right height. Because if it's not the right height and you drop that post in, we're going to struggle to get it out. So always make sure before you drop it in. We're aiming for 94, that's from shoulder to shoulder. And then we've got a few inches of the point, a few inches of the point at the bottom to make eight foot total. We look for 94 knowing that the point is going to sink itself in. So that is 93 and a half. So I think that point will drop in myself. We'll find out. And if it's not, he's taking it out. <laughs> Let's go get it. Let's see if the experience tells me this is going to drop. Okay. Experience wins every time. Two bees, sitting prayer. We decided to work our way down this side, guys, because this is the more awkward side. Get the hard bit out of the way. This fence is going now. And then go for the easy bit a bit later. Always best to get the worst bit out of the way first. Customer has brought us a coffee, the not you, mate? And some biscuits. So we'll go and grab them. We'll show you what we've got. And then we'll crack on. Got a coffee, guys. We've got the Otis. I love them. Actually, look, the Fox's creams as well. Oh. Which one do you prefer, Ant? Otis. Otis. Both oh. feel good, to be fair. We'll crack them open, though, even though we're on a diet. Don't look like Speak it, though. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Coffees. Using a six foot level. See where our next one's going to be. It's going to fall right there. So, we'll hope we'll get no roots. Chances are we're going to get some roots. You can't have a monster like that that doesn't move and have no roots but can't be defeated at dnj so we'll just continue big ol' hello to our friends in australia and new zealand time for a gravel Working our way down there. We keep going. I think we'll set you up for a time lapse for this one. It's a little bit tight. So we've done the six bays that was asked of us down this side, guys. I know it looks like it sort of just finishes. That's what we've been asked to do, do six bays down there and then one, two, three bays there, finishing wherever they finish. Didn't film that bit because you can imagine how awkward it would have been to try and film. There was no room as it was. And look at this tripod, you can see the space it takes. There ain't no space from next door. Now that we have space, let's get the time lapse up. You can watch us do this bay. We've also already put a post in there. And we can't use a corner because the angle is a little bit too much for us to run.
Job complete, guys. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bees. It's not took too long. We said earlier, you had that professional and this professional will get it done. And we've managed to get it done, haven't we, mate? Now it's just this uh, monster of a rock we've got to get down. All the way down there. Remember as all, guys, let me remind you. It's been a long, long day of walking. Toes are killing. Ant's legs are killing. We're aching. Let me show you this rock. It's not these, because they were already there. There's just this to go and this. Look at this monster. Look at my hand for comparison. It's a beast. But we took it out, so we must take it, sir. We'll get that on the van and that, and we'll be off. So we're back at the yard now, guys. Let us know what you think of that fence install. Didn't take long, three, four hours, maybe. Whilst I'm back at the yard, let's see if the swans are here. There she is. You've got a duck down there as well, look. There she is, sitting on the megs, incubating. Oh, all right, let's leave it to it. Well, I believe that is another day from me and Ant. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning and it is wet and miserable. I've made the call, we're not going to the landscaping job. We have got stuff on the back. What we're going to do, we've just picked a couple of bags up. They're on the back now. We've got a little gate to do for BP paving. We're going to sort that out put the timbers on the wall. We've got a wheelie bin to pick up because the council won't pick it up because it's too heavy. So we're disposing of that. And then we're back to the yard. Bit of alteration on the panel master. I've nearly sorted the panel master out as well. The guys have talked me through it. It was a simple fix and something I did myself. But I think first things first, we'll go and get a copper and then we'll head over and do that gate install. So we're on this job ready to put some timbers on here. They're having a little picket gate across here. BP paving's been here, made a lovely job of that. We're a little bit sheltered by this, which is a godsend, you can see the floor's dry just here. But yeah, what we'll plan on doing, put timber on here, attach a post to this, nice, cheap, easy fix, and then the gate will open this way, purely to stop the dog from escaping. And then there's a little bit of a panel just to screw to the end of there. All we've done with this one, because the pipe's in the way, we've put a piece of timber there, a piece of timber there, a hinge will go on this one, a hinge will go on that one. I haven't brought enough bolts, must have lost one on the way, but it's all pre-drilled ready when we hang the gate. And we've just screwed one to this, really, really simple. That's gonna be the catch. The catch will be on that side, hinges will be on that side. We're gonna bring them some stain, put a bit of stain on the tops. But yeah, this will be a nice little picket gate. Nice, simple, really, really easy. And that's what you do if something's in your way. What you could do if you want to stand it off, but she wants enough room for this one to get a wheelie bin through, what we could have done, put enough piece of timber over that so it's like that, so you're trapping it in. But yeah, nice, easy, simple fix. Can't do it with this one because she wants as much width as possible on this path. But what we'll do now, we'll send the measurement through to Jamie and we'll get the gate made. The wheel has been renting, just full up. This is one of my old customers as well. She had my phone number from years ago. So I must have made a good impression. We've done some block paving and stuff. So what we're going to do, get this bin on, get it tipped and put it back for her. Thank you. 
That's I am to the wheelie bin, D and J style, and it's swinging all over because I'm using one hand. Yeah, wheelie bin all emptied. Another job ticked off the list. Next time we see us, we'll be in that gate. So back on this job, this little panel here, we're just gonna take that bit of concrete away and then we can bring this panel across. That'll close that up really. Should have put a corner post in, but this is, I think this is an afterthought with a customer. So this will be a nice simple, easy fix. So all we'll do is screw through there, get the panel there and that'll close that off nicely. I'm just gonna hang this gate and then I'll show you when I've done. There we have it. Put the hinges on the front, they've exactly worked out on the slats. Them ones I've put in a slight angle so they do get enough wood, enough meat. But watch, capping strips on the back. And let's shut it and see if it works. Perfect. Over there, not quite happy with that panel, it's an inch high, but we haven't got no tools to dig it down. So I've gave BP Payment a call and they're going to come and sort that out. But yeah, this is another one done. The customer, we've only been here two minutes, customer's brought a couple of coffees out. So we're going to get them drank. The weather is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Look at the sky now. So yeah, we've got that drink and then we'll head off back to the yard. So we're back at the yard and we're back on the, the panel master. This gun and this gun are playing up. So I'm swapping the guns over. I didn't know these little wheels are adjusters. I thought these might slide up and down, but they're not meant to. So that stops the nails from going deeper. So I've adjusted them. That solved the problem earlier, but now I've told the company we bought it off what it's doing. It's just slightly scoring. He says it might be the guns. So I've got, they've sent me two new guns. I'm going to put the two new guns on. If it still does it, then it's the machine. And then they'll talk me through it. But yeah, it is a bit of a pain, but it's a simple machine and we can fix it ourselves. I like that. And they'll talk us through it. If not, they'll send an engineer out and they'll uh, have a go. So with that said, I'm going to change that other gun, but let's see what Stevie's been up to. So good morning, guys. Welcome to Wednesday, this terrible day. You can tell it's terrible. I've got rain hanging off my ears. But what are we doing today? Or well, what am I doing today? I've got some jobs, I've got some jobs to do, but I'm just come to this job first to show you something. Who remembers this? Anyone remember this job? So we did the fencing. We did the block paved drive. Still looking not too shabby, very nice. I'm not sure how long ago we did this job, maybe October, November last year. Don't think it was December. It wasn't this year, I don't believe. Um, I don't think so anyway. Anyway, a few months ago, we finished this job, but we always say to the customers, if anything moves, anything rocks, give us a shot. Don't be shy, give us a shot. We'll come back, we'll change anything. We're not like those other companies where they'll just take your money and you won't see them ever again. If something isn't quite right and it was minuscule on this job i'll show you in a sec we will come back because it is our name our reputation at hand we will always come back and that's a promise but yeah what was wrong with this one so this latch here guys it was just getting a bit too stiff so when you opened it like this it would get stuck there and it wouldn't lock in so that was getting stuck up here but now with a slight adjustment of some screws, is back to how it should. Simple fix. Customer knew that he could do this, but he thought he'd call us just to make sure that we were happy to do it. And of course, we're happy to do it. Second one. Over time, these have shrunk ever so slightly, I believe. So now the drop bolt doesn't go in. I've gone round it with the biggest one that I had on me. So it's in at the minute, it's not all the way in. I could just move this across, but customer would just wanted us just to make this a little bit wider. So what we're gonna do, either we're gonna get this, we've got a bigger one at the yard, we'll just make this bigger. But the customer said he's gonna have a go first. If it doesn't quite work, it'll get us back out and then he'll have us do it. But yeah, like I said, guys, big or small, whatever needs doing, if we've done the job previously, we'll still come out and we'll help out where we can. It's a day of past jobs. 
Who remembers this one? So this was a full fresh install. We replaced a couple posts here, as you can see, three posts here, and there's the older posts. And we kept those old posts, but they had new panels all the way. Not that one though, that's an old panel because you can tell by the top lot. Look at the top of that panel, look at the top of our panel. Ours are a bit more chunkier. So why are we back, you may ask? Well, we're back because like I said, if something goes wrong in our jobs, we rectify. Look at that post in the middle. So you've got straight posts, the first one, then you've got one that's fell over and then you've got straights running all the way down. We definitely didn't leave it like that and something's moved over time. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna slide that out, we're gonna reset that and we're gonna get it sitting nice and straight. I'm gonna do it with these magic fingers. And it's done. I don't think there's gonna be much filming done today, do you? So then guys, it is the same day. You can probably tell by my hair, it's still wet through, but it is the same day. But I believe I've got some bad, bad, bad news regarding the swans. As you've just saw, it has been chucking it down. I've not saw it myself, but I believe we've got some bad news. So if there's kids watching and you don't want the kids to watch regarding the babies, the little signets, then I advise you to obviously turn over or skip this bit or come back to this bit when the kids aren't around. So let's have a look. And I'm only showing you because you're all a part of the channel and the swans are a part of the channel. Obviously, the nest is normally there. You saw that it's been chucking it down, guys. There's no nest, there's no eggs. I can only assume that when this lean all floats down, the nest may be there. I can't imagine the eggs will be there. If the eggs are there, I wouldn't assume that those baby signets are going to be able to hatch later down the line. I would assume this means the end for those babies. I thought I'd show you guys because all you guys are part of this channel. The swans are part of this channel. Um, there's nothing else for me to film now. It's three o'clock. I'm going to load my van for a fencing job tomorrow. But yeah, just thought I'd show you guys. I think that's the last of you seeing me today. I'll see you tomorrow. Definitely a sad day for D and J. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. The sun is out. I've got my glasses on. We're doing a quick delivery. Panel, bags. Just dropped some grass around the corner. Put the bags down there, and then we'll be on our way. Two bags, nicely dropped off. Got a clean bed now. It's gone to a grab. Jordan's just nipped the panel around there. I'm going to put these sides up, and we're we'll on our way. We're going to drop this off back at the yard, mix it away with some of our stuff. It's not actually a full load, it's just under, and then we'll be on to the next. See, by the time lapse, that one's all grabbed. It's quite awkward, that was. We had to pull on a little bit. But well, we recommended someone to do a bit of a brick walk because we're super busy. So we'll get this one, we'll take this back to the yard, we'll get loaded up for the landscaping job and me and Jordan will head over there. So next time you see us, we'll be on the landscaping job. We're on the landscaping job now, just me and Jordan today. Stevie Ant and Ant are doing a fencing job. Whoever put us behind yesterday and it was a tragic day yesterday. The swans lost the eggs, the lean rows. I think Stevie's shown you that yesterday, so yeah. <sighs> don't think this year is going to be the year we get some signets. Jordan's just setting up now. We've got the mixer set up there, Ron. Down. I don't know what's happened with that sheet. We'll probably need to get a new one soon. 
We're going to put the mixer there. We brought them there. We'll show you in a bit what they're for. Cement's there. We've got cement on the back of the truck. The lads are going to do a drop crossing tomorrow. So I won't have the truck. Steve will have the truck. I'll probably come out in the Bolingo. Because all I'll do is bring cement out. That's why we brought four bags of sand out. This is exactly how we left it. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Colours have come out now because we've had a lot of rain on it. The colours have all come out. It looks really, really nice. The plan is we're going to continue these two rows straight across there. Them two pieces of ramp you can just see there. We're going to set them up so we go up and over. Then I can continue laying in lines across here. So that's the plan. So let's get set up and start laying these slabs. I've started laying. I put my line in, heading over towards that brick over there. What we're gonna do, me and George decided we're gonna lay to here and leave a little path so we can get in and out of the shed. And then we're gonna start laying across. I brought my grabo. I actually brought it, remember to bring it. So I'm gonna stick you guys on a time lapse and let's get some slabs laid. Slabs in there. Now what we're going to do is set the ramps up. George just bring the sleepers down we brought from the yard. We're going to set the ramp up. Then we'll be able to run the barrows over here and then I continue laying slabs that way. I've got a line set in there. You can just see that line. I've got one line there and then all I'll do, I'll run them in, work into the brickwork across there in this line. So let's get this set up. This is a six and one mix. We're doing three sharps on, three builders on, one cement. And all I'm doing with this, I'm spreading it out, working to the last slab, the height, and I'm working to the line. Five mil below the line, that's all we need to work to. Right up to the slab. Washing it underneath if there's any boys, make sure there's no boys. And you're ready for a slab. And I think what we're going to go for is a couple of small ones. I've got a couple of small ones for a while. Same again, just tap it down, very, very slightly. We 
with Indian stew, there's ridges, it's rough. So you want to read the slab. If a little bit's high here, a little bit's low, the majority, that's where you want to go from. Leave that low part alone. So I'm happy with that. I'm just going to take a bit of this mortar away from the joint. As soon as I start tapping it down, I'll fill that joint up. And all you do, put it down, twist back, and it sticks to your trowel like that. Then I'm feeling, I'm happy with them. Get the level on it. Spot on. Just tap down slightly this edge. Now I'm happy. On to next. And just repeat the process all the way along. Working to your line and your level. Bit in there. Inside, you can do that and work off your line and see if your bed's about right. Same with you can run it across that side, put it on there and see if your bed's about right. Let's say what about five mil? And you want the mixed consistency uh, like Le Mans or Mousse. So we've just had a little bit of lunch. A customer did is bacon cobs, bacon cob each, a drink. We've done that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to set you back up on the tripod, bit of a time lapse. You're going to watch me put a few more slabs in, and then we'll catch back up, talk for the process, and we'll start doing that. Tips and tricks. We'll give you a few along the way, how we do it. But yeah, some people don't like this pattern. They don't like the length of the lines, but. Me personally, I think this pattern looks a lot more modern. It's easy to lay. The other style, a bit old fashioned now. Everyone has it, don't they? So yeah, I like laying this. A lot of landscapers don't like us doing this, but I don't know why, but I think it looks great. Yeah, I really do. So let's get a few more slabs laid. Saving the cuts, going to do the cuts after. We don't normally do that, but we need to lift the cuts in. We'll lift the slabs in to do the cuts to mark it. And I think it'll just slow us down. And while the weather's nice, I think I'm going to hit get a majority done. So what we'll do, me and Jordan, we'll crack on with this. And then we'll catch back up when we've done this. And if we've got time, we'll start around the greenhouse. So welcome back. Let's see the progress we have made. So we've managed to lay that. All them are cuts now. We're just going to point that side up like we have done there. And we'll probably get maybe two slabs laid here. But yeah, it's coming on. You can see our little ramp system there. Just to get us over them. When we do that, we're going to back ourselves into a corner a little bit. So we'll have to lay from the wall. That wall there. And come across and work our way out. 
that's going to be really awkward that drain might be too bad but that it's got a lip on it so i don't know how that's going to look but yeah it's looking good so let's get them laid and then that'll be the end of the day for us Long thin one, 300 by 600 there, and then we'll pull that out because I don't think we've got any more mix. Probably point the end of that up, use it for down there. The reason why I'm doing that is so we stand on a full slab and not a little slab, so it might end up rocking because it's going to get some traffic through here. We'll just use that bit to point up along here. So that's it for today me and Jordan on this landscaping job. I'm back here tomorrow with one of the ants. Got two Jordans, two ants, crazy. So yeah, let's go and see what Steve is up to. So good morning guys, it is Thursday morning. You've saw what my dad and Jordan have been up to today. And now it is me and, and, and I've got the double team there. We're on a fence install today. Let's just show you what it's looking like right now. So. It's quite a backdrop. We're gonna have a fence here. We're gonna have two bays here at seven foot tall. So there'll be a double gravel board there, a double gravel board there, six by five, six by five, matching around about the height of this post here. That's a, probably a bit taller than seven foot, but we'll work it out. These roots, they're all coming out. They shouldn't be too bad. We'll start digging away at them. They're probably gonna be a little hard, but when we start peeling the stuff away, the soil, and then peeling it away from there, we'll build a nice straight flat base. And then we can work from that post to that post. This fencing is gonna come back down to six foot as well, guys. It's not being seven foot fencing. It's just two bays. And then it goes to six foot down here. It turns all the way down here. And then it's this fence in all here. I can't show you from the garage side, so I'll show you from the other side over there. We're gonna make sure we scrape all of these stones out of the way to the edge of that decking planter. And then obviously we'll make it nice and neat when we're finished. So this is that fence running all the way down there. This is all coming out. We'll take this as well so it's timber. And then we're starting again from here. So we'll start from up there anyway, work our way down. This will be the last one but we'll put a concrete post in there to attach that and that gravel board. And that's the fence, guys. Lads are just getting all the tools off now. I'll get the tripod set up. And I believe we'll start fencing up here, start getting these roots out. 
start fencing. As always, we'll get the first one in so we can actually get ahead and get started. And then we'll catch back up once that one's done. start of the fence guys we've gone for seven foot and just going with the grand two gravel boards six by five two gravel boards six by five nine foot nine foot nine foot eight foot post one gravel board six by five there's that one foot difference that we've gone for so we was told to do seven foot seven foot because the ground was a little bit higher so we're retaining the ground a little bit more so that the ground doesn't touch the panel and it doesn't rot in the future so that's the plan on that now that it's dropped down a little bit you can see how the ground's sort of running away there now so it's gone to the one gravel board so now it's not going to touch that panel that's the key with that and then again we'll do a six foot bay tall here and then there'll be a little custom bay here we'll put the gravel board and the corner post in and then we'll run everything off that and then Jamie will make the panel, we can drop that panel in and then is all this down here. Like I said, we're gonna scrape all this. Probably gonna be fencing from this side because there's no room from that garage. But yeah, it's coming along. It's just this one now. I might put you on a time lapse from over there. It's a bit tight, but I'm sure we can. Another one done now. Now it's a corner post going in there so we can return all the way down there. Good progress, but it sounds like we've hit concrete. So we'll get this one in, get the gravel board in, and then we'll continue down there. Look at these lads working, true professionals. Customer is giving a neighbor the good side to match that one there. So we've got two customs there, and then it drops a little, and then it runs level, then it drops again, and then we'll see what this one needs. But yeah, not too shabby so far. So we're done pretty much, guys. Got the two seven foot bays that was asked for. We've got some six foot bays running down to the corner. We've got a custom there that Jamie's going to make. We've got a custom here as well. Fencing from this side. Of course, our customer is this side, but there's always two sides to a fence. And this customer has decided to give his neighbor the better side. Here it is running down there. Lovely straight line as always. And then there's just this bit here, guys. Those two bays to slot in tomorrow. What we decided to do was do six foot, six foot, six foot. And then rather than do a six foot fall in to here with a little bay there we don't think that had a look aesthetically pleasing so what we decided to do we decided to split these two in half we always had to do two posts because we was doing a post somewhere here it was going to be there but we've done a post there and we always had to do a post there so we always had to do two so rather than do one there and one there let's make it look better for both sets of neighbors this customer that neighbor 
around about three and a bit foot there, three and a bit foot there. It was just a bit too big for seven foot before someone says there would have been about a gap that big. And of course, we only do a seven foot. We're not gonna customize that. To us, this is the best alternative. But yeah, very happy with this. To the yard now to go tip off, it is five to five. So we're a little bit late, but we stayed a little bit late. I almost complete this job. And that means that we're ahead tomorrow. So that's always a bonus. So from me, from Ant and Ant, We'll see you in the morning. That's another day for d &J. So welcome back. We're back on our landscaping job. It's me and Dave Sims. Ant in the background today. What we're planning on doing today is slabbing round here, doing the bit on the corner and working our way out of the garden. So that's the plan today. What we're going to do is just crack on with it and smash it out and see what we get done. This bit's complete. I spoke to the customer, I'm gonna run some gravel down there and he's gonna bring his greenhouse back to square. But yeah, that bit's complete. Now it's over there. So we've managed to get that corner in behind me and a little bit of a cut around the greenhouse. I'll just show you. So we've managed to get that section in there. They're all cuts now. Managed to do a little cut around that drain up there. Just wet them down to clean any residue off the edges. 
the customer just wants us to straighten that that up so it can run a nice straight line in there now and bring them bricks to it and let's get around the greenhouse completed all that's left now is cuts for monday and just run out the garden and then it's turf time and joint it yeah it's gonna look really good when it's done really really good Ant's just cleaning up the drive, and it nice and clean for the weekend. But next time you see us, we'll be back in the yard. So hello guys, it is Friday. Friday the 13th, is anyone superstitious? Let me know in the comments if you believe in that sort of stuff. I used to, not so much, nah. It is end of day, I think it's coming up to five or just gone five or something along those lines. But we have just come back to this job to slide in four panels. I will show you the completed job now. I just need to bring five nails because Jamie, you've let me down and you've missed five nails, mate. I'm disappointed in you. Normally perfect. Let me just show you this job, guys. Blocked off now. I just need five nails in those top ones there. He's done all the other nails. Just need five there so worst case scenario we'll bring them under and there's those two panels that we said would match up and then bring them across running nicely across the top into the bay that obviously we didn't do we just put the post in there we and in big red right there i'm gonna head back to the yard now i think that'll be another day for dj but when we get back we'll sign this video out